Close to My Heart has a new product called Thin Cuts, and I wanted to walk you through how to use them with your embossing machine. Mine happens to be a cuddle bug, but you can use any embossing machine to cut your thin cuts. And you'll notice when you get them, they come in this wonderful envelope that you can open up. They fit down inside. There is a plastic cover that you'll want to take off before you use them. And a few things that I want to point out that make ours unique and different from some of the other products that are out on the market is that ours are housed on this wonderful magnetized sheet. So you'll be able to put them back onto the sheet when you're done. And you'll notice that, see, they stay on the sheet. So that will really be helpful, especially for some of these little pieces not falling off onto the floor and getting lost. You'll also notice when you take them off that they have an etch that is raised up on one side and then the opposite side is flat. When you are putting this into your machine, I want to show you the best way to do it so that you don't mark up your plates. You're going to take your self-healing mat first, lay your paper down. Someone also mentioned to keep the paper in place, you could just put a piece of washi tape on either side to keep it in place. And then take your thin cut and you're going to place it with that etch side down onto your cardstock. That's really important to do. And the reason for that is I want to show you what happens if you accidentally put them right side up. You are going to get etched marks on your plates and you really don't want that because every time you hear it crack on your plate you are essentially ruining your plates and eventually this plate is going to break. So once you have it on the self-healing mat you have the image facing down on top of your cardstock you're going to use plate B and C and just lay them, it doesn't matter the direction, if B is first or if C is first, it really doesn't matter. Just make sure that they're both sitting on top. And then you're gonna run it through your machine. And we recommend that you run it through two times for one sheet. If you have two sheets of cardstock, run it through four times, front and back. And then if you have three sheets, run it through at least six times, sometimes even eight times. And when you get done, see, notice how my plates look perfectly fine. Yay, that's a good thing. And you'll notice that it pops right off. And then there is your image. And as you can see, at Close to My Heart, we have the coordinating stamp sets now that match the thin cuts. And this one happens to match the springtime wishes. And then I would go back with our Memento ink because I really think it looks and works the best when you're using watercolors like I have here. And just tap it a couple of times. And because our stamps are clear and see-through, you can line up the image just like this. And voila, look at that. You have a beautiful image. And then I use the watercolor paper. Right here you get I, I want to say you get 10 sheets to a package. And the watercolor is great because you'll see it doesn't bleed or run when you use the darker Memento Black ink. And this was another tip that I, I wanted to recommend. I actually put the watercolor on first and then you can go back with your thin cuts. You can line them up exactly where you want them. We're going to use a couple here just so that you can see that you can emboss several images at one time. Lay them down on your plate. Make sure that you have B and C on top of them. And then run them through your embossing machine a couple of times. And then as you take them off, you'll see that those little images are popped just like that. And then when you go to use your stamped image, that vibrant black is going to stay fresh and it's not going to bleed through. So 
Sorry, my hand was a little shaky there. Beautiful thing about this is you can always flip it up 